From the opposite side of the street in Weybridge, Carl Hilt watched Kathy Roberts leave her house. He knew her husband was still at home. Probably he either worked from home or was unemployed. Hilt didn't care. He waited ten minutes. The street didn't have CCTV, but there was a chance that Robert's house had security cameras. Given her occupation, there was a slim chance that the cameras were hidden on the exterior and interior. Hilt wasn't going to take a risk. Face, ears and eyes couldn't be exposed due to modern recognition technology. He jogged across the road, donned a black balaclava and sunglasses and ran into the rear garden. He'd brought equipment to force locks, if necessary, but they were not required. The rear-facing kitchen door was unlocked. He entered. The place was of modest size and indicative of a couple who had no children. No clutter. Holiday postcards of trips to Thailand and other exotic climes were fixed to the fridge door by magnets. A posted note was stuck onto the microwave saying, Don't forget, five minutes on full blast, then one minute rest and an empty pot of coffee was on the hob. Hilt moved into the lounge. It contained one sofa, an armchair, a TV, and not much else. Kathy Roberts' husband was on the sofa, watching a program about antiques. Hilt moved up behind him, placed his arm around the man's neck, and squeezed. He said nothing as Robert's husband lost consciousness. For good measure, Hilt punched the man three times in the face. He stood over him. The man's face was a mess. He was either passed out or dead. Hilt moved on 